All right, guys, what's up? As a lot of you know from Instagram and you know Facebook, we had got a new truck. We picked up a 18 uh, F-150 Sport EcoBoost 3510R80. Uh, absolutely love the truck. Been driving it for about a month now. This truck is amazing. There's not a single thing I have found that I don't like about it yet. Uh, well, besides the way it sits. So, we're here now at the shop. And we got it on the lift. We're going to lower it. We're going to take all this black off. All the uh, vinyl. Got my brother up there doing the vinyl. But we're going to take the vinyl off and lower the truck. We'll rewrap the roof, I think. But we're going to lower it. We're going to do a 2 4 Belltech lowering kit. Uh, I took a picture here to see what the truck looked like sitting right there uh, before it went on the lift. So we're going to do a 2-4 Belltech lowering kit. We got Dimitri over here. He's reading some instructions. Don't mind the grass. So, here we go. So, make it happen we got it on the lift right there we're gonna pull the tires off all right guys all the vinyls off so the leaf springs they weren't too bad to get out they did give us a little bit of problem on the passenger side one of the bolts to hold it in with the round heads we had to cut out and make our own oh actually here it is we had to cut out, see, this is the one we had to cut out and make our own. But vinyl's off. Kevin's doing some detailing. And uh, we are getting these leaf springs back up in here. It's coming together. It's starting to look really sick. Totally changed the look of the truck. Okay, so we got the back complete. Pretty simple process. Just flip the rear around on the springs. The rear was on the bottom. We flip it up on the top. They give you all the necessary hardware. Mount the shocks up. Same process for the other side. Not too crazy. They give you some shackle extensions. And then also for the front, they give you some more. Pretty simple. You cut these bolts, they give you bolts to replace so you don't gotta drop the exhaust. Do the same thing on the other side where the gas tank is. <clears throat> Here's the factory strut. Move the factory strut. Put in the aftermarket strut. Put the factory spring back in. So forth and so on. You gotta remove all the all the brackets to hold all the wires and everything for the ABS and locking hubs and everything. This is a four wheel drive truck. So, and all in all, uh, it's coming along pretty good. Took all the vinyl off. I think the truck looks really well. Putting the tonneau cover on right now. My brother's working on that. We're gonna clean it up, put it on. I think I'm gonna remove the step sides. I haven't decided yet, but passenger side's done. The rear is done. Uh, just gonna do the driver's side and then sit it down and take it over for alignment and we're pretty much done. So not too bad of a install. Um, definitely two people. Uh, you're gonna need a hand with this, uh, especially with the rear and the leaf springs are pretty heavy. Um, you know, so a uh, second set of hands is actually very, uh, makes a big deal. Uh, here's the driver's side, everything's still a factory, factory struts still in everything. I'm gonna pull that next and uh, keep You guys it ready? Finished product. One, two, here it goes. My brother flying around on that thing. There you go, baby, look at that. Finished product, got rid of the footstools. That thing boogies. I just did the carburetor on it. Thing moves. So, here we go. Finished product, I love it, absolutely love it. Got rid of the footsteps, the, uh, the foot rails, whatever you want to call them. I have the parking brake on. Put the battery back in? Yeah, and the brake light works with the brake. Oh my goodness, it's almost street legal. Regular headlight? It's almost street legal. Where's your turn signals? You gotta use your hands? No, I don't have that. But I have the parking light. Oh 
my goodness, look at that. A little smoke, a little, that fits right in over here, a little smoke. All right, guys, what do you think, man? Two, four Beltec lowering kit, stock wheels. Um, got rid of the, this truck was the Sport Edition, had the FX4 on the back, it had the uh, the black vinyls on the side, with just kind of going in a, you know, towards the back. Stripped it down, lowered it, leveled it, and she just looks amazing. Here goes TikTok sitting over there. Need the transmission. Tranny's still not right with this, guys. She'll be back up and running soon, I promise. So, anyway, back to the new EcoBoost. I mean, this thing just looks amazing, dude. I'm really happy the way it came out. This truck, um, the bed tonneau cover. Uh, I think I'm going to get like a low profile one. It's okay for now. Got it, you know, picked it up, used off a buddy of mine. <clears throat> I mean, just look at that truck. Love it. Guys, follow the channel. And we're just going to tune it for some 93. That's all. Stay tuned. Yeah, where's that map sensor? Get it in. Guys, TikTok will be up and running soon. Uh, I gotta pull the training out. I wanted to get the truck lowered because it's gonna be stuck on the lift. And then um, we're gonna get this in there next and pull the tranny, send it down to Anthony, have him pull it apart again, see what's going on. And then uh, hopefully get it back and be back up and running. Spring's coming soon. So stay tuned guys, like and subscribe. God bless y'all.